One of the first things that you want to do after you get your BeatThang virtual installed is set up a user data path folder. Uh, the best way to do that, just go ahead and get a new folder going on your desktop. I uh, will just call this BeatThang1. And uh, go over here to the systems. And down here where it says user data path, I've already got one set, but we'll go over here to the desktop already on there. BeatThang1. That's what I just called it. So uh, choose, and then we'll show here, close, and now when you go over to BeatThang1 and double click on it, it's your uh, BeatThang virtual user data path, basically where all of your information will be stored. Uh, samples is where you drag your own samples to if you want to get your own stuff into the BeatThang virtual. You know, it's going to have your songs, patterns, instruments, effects, drum kits, all this stuff. This is going to be where all of your stuff that you make inside BeatThang Virtual will be stored. It's best just make one on your desktop so you always have easy access to it. And, uh, you know, simple as that.